hello YouTube, and uh, this is a little Game Boy mod that I've been working on for about the last week. Um, I wired up uh, an old uh, Game Boy console. Uh, it wasn't functioning, the screen was broken, and some other stuff was wrong with it, and so I just decided to play around with it, and I've uh, wired it up to actually function as uh, an original NES controller. Um, and I decided to do so without uh, ripping out the internals um, and replacing them with the controller internals because it's actually a fairly simple circuit to do the, the uh, NES controller. So all of the internal circuitry in the Game Boy is intact other than the LCD screen, which I completely um, unwired. But um, anyway, I've run all the traces up through the ribbon cable and out to... Um, the, here you can see the CD4021 uh, I shift register that was taken out of an NES controller. I had a spare one sitting around. But you can actually purchase these shift registers online. Uh, again, that's the CD4021. Um, you can purchase them at Jameco or a lot of other electronics distributors for as little as a quarter a piece. Um, so you can do this without... Uh, dissecting an NES controller. I just happen to have an extra one sitting around and I'll probably use the case for a, a fun project later. But anyway, you can see that it is um, it's wired out to here and it's plugged into the front of the console. So um, I guess I'll show it in action now. So I've got the, uh, you know, just the an old Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. I'll back up here so you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on, just barely. Um, you can see that the jumping's working and um, moving left and right. But um, anyway, here I'll give you a better. Just to show it off, I'll try and play one-handed while I hold the camera. I'll probably fail pretty miserably, but uh, I'll try it anyway. Like I said, I'm playing one-handed, so and left-handed at that, so I'm doing pretty poorly. But anyway, so that's me playing the first level of Super Mario Bros. left-handed uh, using a Game Boy for the controller. Um, and I plan on cleaning this up a bit and uh, fixing up the circuit uh, just so that it's uh, a little more internal and not um, not all out on a breadboard. Um, I'm eventually going to convert this then even further and probably uh, convert it either uh, using a, a female plug to um, uh, an extension cable to actually plug it in as an NES controller, or I may go one step further and convert it to a USB gamepad. Um, either way, there it is. So, um, yep.